This is outrageous. That's unfair. Do you all remember in Revenge of the Sith when Anakin said, from my point of view, the Jedi are evil? While I've done a video about this in the past, that one just covers some info from the Revenge of the Sith book. Today's information will be more legit as it comes from George Lucas himself. During Episode 3, or, you know, all of the prequels in general, we see a huge arc with Anakin's personality and growth as a character. As a little boy, he starts out afraid, yet curious and adventurous for his new life as a Jedi. Then he becomes transfixed with Padme and it changes his behavior in general. We all know the rest. He had to choose between saving his wife from his vivid premonitions and being loyal to the Jedi, who always held him back. That moment on Mustafar against Obi-Wan, when Master Kenobi tells him that Chancellor Palpatine is evil. He replies with, from my point of view, the Jedi are evil. While we all understand that he had turned to the dark side and was supposed to be the bad guy in the story, what George Lucas says about his point of view is this. Anakin's rationalization is, everybody is after power. Even the Jedi are after power. Therefore, he thinks they're all equally corrupt now. So which side am I going to be on? Do I align myself with Palpatine, who is a Sith Lord and who can possibly help me save Padme? Or do I side with the Jedi and maybe lose Padme? Looking at it from that point of view, if you were to look at things like Anakin did, then we can kind of see where he was going. While what he did of course was wrong, I can now see his point of view. This actually makes a lot of sense to me. It was the lesser of two evils in the grand scheme of things. Now, going as far as killing younglings and betraying your friends is obviously very wrong. If Anakin had thought things through just a little bit, he would have mentioned to the council or something that, you know, look, I've had these dreams about Padme and I want them to go away, or I want to find a way to save her, in which they would comfort him or they would look into it deeper or maybe grant him access to the restriction section, which is why he wanted to become a master in the first place. But it was his panic and lack of patience that ultimately went hand in hand with his doom. If he only spoke to Master Yoda about it further, or Mace Windu, or Obi-Wan, I think things could have gone a lot differently. From his point of view, everyone was evil, so if he's gonna become evil too, then does he become evil with Padme alive, or evil with Padme dead? With those two ultimatums, it's a simple choice. However, we all know it didn't have to be so black and white. There were other options. I still fully believe that had Anakin spoke to Qui-Gon, somehow, even through the Force, or a dream, or something, things could have been changed. Now, if Qui-Gon was alive, I think the galaxy would have been completely different in general, but that's a different video for a different time. I guess we'll never really know the true answer to that, however, I'd like to do a fanfiction on it once I'm back from LA. That said, the theater for the premiere is looking good. I can't give you guys details yet, but just trust me when I say that this is going to be the perfect theater for a Star Wars fan film or anything to do with Star Wars. No tickets will be sold, of course, as per Lucasfilm's rules. I can't make any profit from this fan film, so I really just want to do this for the fans. There is no catch. It'll be a free open event, and I'm working on something with my website team to have you guys sign in and secure your spot in the theater, just to give you guys a more organized way of first come, first serve, so that you really do have a place in the theater. I don't know how many people are going to show up, but from what I hear, there are people that are flying from the UK, from Japan, from New York, all over the place, so this could just be the biggest Star Wars meetup ever, or it might just be, you know, a few people. I don't really know yet, but if it does happen and I am able to successfully get the theater, just know that it's going to be open to everyone and it's going to be free. As for the official teaser trailer, it's on the way, so you guys keep your notifications on or just check back here every day because I know notifications can get, you know, kind of annoying. Please hit like on this video if you guys enjoyed it. It allows me to keep doing everything I'm doing, and I will see you all in the next episode of Star Wars Theory. Until then, my fellow Jedi and Sith friends, remember, the Force will be with you always.